One of the things you're gonna notice, as I just said, all right, we got our chromosomes doubled, now we gotta split them. Well, in order to split them, you gotta move them. You know, there's, you gotta take a chromosome like this and somehow get it to go like that. And you gotta somehow organize these before you can make a move. And that is where spindle fibers come in. Spindle fibers are all about movement. Now you know about spindle fibers a little bit. When we talked about if you, if, if, you may want to link back and read about tubulin, okay? Because spindle fibers are made out of tubulin. Tubulin is a protein, okay, that makes up microtubules. So spindle fibers, therefore, are microtubules. You remember that the cytoskeleton consists of microfilaments and microtubules. I know you know that. Well, here's the thing. As we enter mitosis, What's going to happen is the microtubules of the cytoskeleton are going to break down. Why? Well, here's the thing. You from these, from these, from these cytoskeleton microtubules, you are going to make these things called spindle fibers. Why? Because they're going to be made out of the same material using the British spelling of fibers there, I guess it's okay. Alrighty, and so, so the point here is that you have a cytoskeleton in your cell. That cytoskeleton is there during G and S and G2, but as G2 progresses, it starts to break down. Why? You're gonna use the raw materials of this microtubules, the tubulin, to make fibers across the cell called spindle fibers. You'll see those and what they do, well, I'll see you right now. What's the purpose of the spindle fibers? Well, one of the things that I said has to happen is that your chromosomes have to get organized. They somehow have to get set up, and let's just take this randomly occurring cell, this chromosome laying in the cell right now. And you know what? Let's just say I wanna somehow get these chromosomes to organize and line up before I split the cell. Well, right here, denoted by this paper clip, is, the paper, is, the, is going to be the kinetic core, okay? So what you're gonna see is that as the microtubules grow, they're gonna hook to a kinetic core. We'll put it all in sequence when we learn the phases, but they're gonna hook. And then what starts to happen is, remember what tubulin is? Tubulin is a protein that sits on, uh, in, a, in a circle around the, the, uh, in, a, in a circle that makes this long tubular arrangement. In fact, take a look at the box right now, you can see that, that whole tubulin arrangement. What happens is, apparently these have an ability to shorten. But you know what? If this is a microtubule, and this is where it's hooked to, and you know what, we might be able to even make this just a little more dramatic by putting it under an orange background. Huh? Okay, if this is a microtubule and it's hooked over here, it doesn't shorten at its anchor site. It turns out it shortens at the kinetic core. So we have a microtubule hooked to the kinetic core and there's an involvement of a motor molecule there. So like a Pac-Man, what's gonna happen is this. This is gonna shorten here by digestion, but the paper clip, if you will, is gonna eat its way along there and it's gonna cause chromosomal movement. What does that look like to someone watching this? Well, it looks something like this. Here's a microtubule hooked to a kinetic core, and literally, it looks like it's being reeled in like a fishing line. But then, another microtubule hooks to the kinetic core on the other side of the chromosome, and it starts to reel back. Now, these are, these are hooked in the center of the cell, and then this one reels, and then this one reels, and then this one reels, and what you eventually get is that doubled chromosome in the center of the cell. And you do that with all of your chromosomes. Do you know how many chromosomes humans have? We have 46 chromosomes. All 46 of your chromosomes will be lined up. How and what do we call this? Names can come later. But now that you have them lined up, guys, it's easy. Since they're all attached to, by their kinetic cores to microtubules, the next step is once again the motor molecules and one, two, three. You've split your cell into two groups of chromosomes. 
See, that's the principle. We're going to put some names on it soon, but that's all mitosis is about. Sp doubling chromosomes and then splitting them with the help of microtubules.